In this tutorial, you will learn important facts about the media cartridges used in the product. Media will fill the supply window of a new cartridge. The end of a wristband should be visible here at the exit area. The back of a wristband should be visible here at the feed area. No media will be visible in the supply window of an empty cartridge. No wristband will be visible at the exit area or at the feed area. If the media and printer status lights are flashing orange, press the eject button to eject the cartridge. If you can see media in the supply window, but not at the exit area or feed area, the cartridge is bad. Never pull on media sticking out the exit area of a cartridge. Do not insert a cartridge with media sticking out into the printer. To correct, cut the media close to the cartridge. Insert the cartridge into the printer. The printer may feed one wristband while aligning the cartridge. Remove the partial wristband. In this tutorial, you will learn how to change the media cartridge. The media status indicator will flash orange when media is exhausted. Press the eject button to eject the cartridge. No media will be visible in the supply window of an empty cartridge. Remove the new cartridge from its packaging. Each cartridge comes with instructions for use and wristband attachment. Insert as shown and press down. When ready, the printer status indicator will display solid green. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform routine cleaning of the product. Before beginning, remove the media cartridge. Set the power switch to off. Open the upper cover and insert the card so that one quarter inch is visible from the front of the printer. Close the upper cover. Press and hold the eject button. Set the power switch to on. Continue holding the eject button until the cleaning card starts moving. When the media status indicator flashes orange, the cleaning cycle is complete. Remove and discard the used cleaning card. Before beginning, remove the media cartridge. Set the power switch to off. Open the upper cover and lift the print head. Moisten a cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the swab across the surface of the print head moving from side to side. Wipe the swab across the media chute surfaces. 
Wipe the swab across the lower media path. Allow the alcohol to evaporate before closing the printhead. To remove the platen, rotate the two roller retainer clips upward. Use the retainers to lift the platen. Moisten a cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol. Clean the platen while turning and wiping from end to end. Allow the platen to completely dry before reinstalling. Use the retainers to lower the platen into position. Rotate the retainers toward the front of the printer to secure. Press down on the metal lever plate to snap the printhead assembly back into place. Close the upper cover. Moisten a cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the contacts with an up and down motion. If the printer fails to recognize a cartridge when inserted into the printer, the cartridge smart card contacts may need cleaning. Moisten a cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the contacts with an up and down motion. Allow the alcohol to evaporate before using the cartridge. The outside of the printer may be cleaned with common solutions including isopropyl alcohol and water. In this tutorial, you will learn how to prepare the product for use. USB Interface Serial Interface Optional Ethernet Interface Connect the power cord to the power supply Connect the power cord to an AC power source Verify the indicator is illuminated Set the power switch to off. Connect the power supply to the printer. Set the power switch to on. The printer performs a self-test and the control panel cycles through the light colors. The media status indicator and the printer status indicator blink orange to indicate there is no media in the printer. Set the power switch to off. Connect the interface to the host computer. Install the software and run Zebra Setup Utilities. The software will prompt you when to switch power on to complete installation. Ensure media is visible in the window. Insert as shown and press down. When ready, the printer status indicator will display solid green. Media will be visible here. Get the latest software and support for your product at Zebra's website.
In this tutorial, you will learn how to manually eject the media cartridge. Problems with the printer or media cartridge may prevent its removal using the eject button. Set the power switch to off. Unlatch the upper cover. Turn the printer upside down and support both printer and cartridge. Locate the manual cartridge release on the bottom of the printer. Insert a small object and push the release towards the rear of the printer. Remove the cartridge. Never pull on media sticking out the exit area of a cartridge. To correct, cut the media close to the cartridge and reinsert into a working printer. In this tutorial, you will learn how to identify the features of the product. Media cartridge slot. Media status indicator. Printer status indicator. Eject button. Pause button. Feed button. Media output slot. Upper cover release. Print head. Platen. DC power connector. Power button. USB port. Optional Ethernet port. Serial port. In this tutorial, you will learn how to print a configuration report. Start with media loaded and the power on. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator flashes orange once, then release. Printer configuration report. In this tutorial, you will learn how to properly repackage your product for shipment. Prepare the packing materials. Locate the packing tray. Place the power supply. Place the user documentation. Place the power cord. Open the upper cover. Place the packing material protecting the printhead. Wrap the printer in the plastic bag. Place the printer in the box. Place the packing tray on top of the printer. Close the packaging. In this tutorial, 
you will learn how to safely remove the product from the shipping package. Open the packaging. Remove the accessory tray. The tray includes the power supply, the power cord, and user documentation. Lift the printer out of the package. Remove the printer from the plastic bag. Remove the packing material protecting the print head. Check the print head location before closing the upper cover. Save all packing materials if you plan to reship the printer.